With an uneasy truce in effect in Santo Domingo, the second act is a maneuvering for power between the rebels and the military junta. The rebels claim the constitutional president is Francisco Comaño Deño with the bullhorn, a professional soldier who trained at marine bases in the U.S. and at the officer school in Virginia. He says that he began planning eight months ago for the overthrow of the then ruling junta to pave the way for the return of ousted president Juan Bosch. But the colonel himself was elected by Congress, he says, after Mr. Bosch declined the return. Camaño, in turn, is opposed by the troops loyal to a new three-man military junta headed by General Antonio Barreras. It appears that only the presence of upwards of 35,000 U.S. Marines, soldiers, and Navy personnel has kept this power struggle from erupting anew into a shooting war. Meanwhile, the United States is channeling its manpower on the island toward humanitarian chores. A shuttle service has been put into effect to ferry badly needed food to the islands from the U.S. A quarter of a million pounds of food are being distributed daily without regard to political philosophy. U.S. troops are handing out the supplies at 10 points, which are changed every few days to assure an equitable distribution. Included are rice, beans, flour, and powdered milk, solace for a people torn by civil war. <laughs> 